Hi, this is Dallin Vanderpool from Focus the Fire podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's two minute career tip. And today I'm talking about freedom. Listen, I don't know what kind of career goals you have, right? I don't know what kind of career goals you have and you're thinking about doing as you go forward. But one of the things that's super important to me and I'm hoping is important to you as well is this idea of freedom. I really don't like the idea of, you know, going to a point where I'm being paid 100,000, 200,000, I don't care how much it is, $500,000 a year, and you have no freedom, right? You're owned. You can be the most highly paid employee everywhere, but you don't have that freedom. And when we talk about freedom in this case, I want you to reimagine the word freedom and think about it as autonomy. It's not about freedom to go lay on the beach and you know use a laptop and do whatever you want, but it's about having the autonomy to start choosing how you work, choosing when and where you work, choosing how you structure your time. So start thinking about that freedom. Make that one of your career goals where you have the ability to structure your own time. The interesting thing about this is that freedom actually comes from more structure. And you get that structure by avoiding procrastination and getting things done as soon as possible, using tools like Google Calendar or whichever other scheduling tool you wanna use to really organize your time and do extremely focused work. And then finally, by only touching things as many times as absolutely necessary. You don't want to be picking things up and putting them down and going back and forth all the time. Try to get it done in as few steps as possible. That way you can start leading yourself towards that career that has more time, money, and freedom. You can follow more information at DallonV.com and of course check me out on social media at DallonV. Have a powerful day everybody.